Like I said, I think we just be, it was our seventh top ten team that we beat. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that not a lot of people did that. I don't think anybody has done that. So I think this this does go down as one of the greatest teams in college football. Jacoby, you go up 17-7 in the first or second quarter. And, you know, it's your largest deficit of the season. I guess kind of what's the message on defense is trying to keep it. Oh, 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 we don't blink, man. Um, when we were down that much, I, I felt like we, we didn't feel like we were out of the game. I think we felt like we were always in the game, and you know we, we kept fighting back. I mean, th th we were never in this position during the season, but Coach O put the put us in those positions during practice. He always puts us in tough situations. Coach Mafi puts us in tough tough situations. So when things like this happen, we don't panic. We know we know what to do. We are trained. A few of your teammates say they're pinching themselves. It's like this is happening to somebody else. They can't believe it. It's right. like it's not real. Is that kind of how you feel? I mean, I, I have that feeling, but at the same time, it's almost like we deserve it. I don't feel like anyone put as much, put in as much work as we did. Um, shoot, we, we trained. We, we came and did extra. Uh, we were in here. We were in the indoor. We were in the weight room. The coaches gave us days off. So I, I feel like we didn't deserve it. But yeah, I do have to pinch myself because, like I said, I was in the front. I used to be in the front yard in front of my house, throwing passes to myself, thinking I'm in the national championship and actually actually playing national championship and win it. It means a lot, man. LSU may win another national championship at another time. Mm -hmm. This team may never be duplicated. Mm -hmm. I mean, not, not even close. Mm -hmm. Uh, like I said, when you have the best player in college football on your team, it's, it's hard to it's hard to duplicate this type of season. Uh, like I said, you know it's rare to play to, to have a tough schedule like we had where we played seven top ten teams and we came out with wins and some and some of those wins were by a lot was dominate dominating wins. And uh, like I said, it, it's gonna, it, this is a special season and I, like like you you're right, it's gonna be hard to replicate. You guys are legends. <laughs> thank you. I don't know. I don't know about all that, but thank you. <laughs> what did you see from uh, Patrick? What he's been doing all year, man. Uh, Patrick, one of those guys where he doesn't get a lot of credit, but you know he he, he performed today, and, and people are actually kind of seeing what Patrick does. And he, he's a sideline sideline player, and um, he's a heck of a linebacker. In the third quarter, he pretty much took the end of the game. Right. Um, I guess was that I'm assuming like it was his. Yeah, I mean, like I mean, I mean that that I mean that's just what. Uh, PQ understanding in the film. I mean, we, we watched Ohio State game. When they couldn't get their big receivers down the field and get the ball, they turned in their run game. They, when the running game can't work, they try to turn in their quarterback run game. When that doesn't work, they try to uh, hit ETN in the screen in the screen game. And we knew that was coming, and we just stopped it. Uh, and like you said, PQ is all over because PQ uh, puts in the work, he puts in the time and, and film. He, he, he understands what Clemson's trying to do, and you know he. Uh, he took advantage. Was this Jacoby? another classic case of Dave Aranda adjustments? Yeah, it is. I mean, Coach Aranda had, knows his adjustments before we do. He has pre-adjustments before we even come to, into the game because he knows what they're going to try to do in the second half. He can predetermine what they're going to do by what he's showing them. And uh, I, I feel like when you know when we uh, we played the first half, we played. A, we played a uh, average first half, but that second half with, with those adjustments and getting new, some new calls, and understanding what they're going to try to do because we took away one of their uh, one of their greatest weapons. What was the uh, game plan? Gonna, you know. What was the game plan on third down? Y'all y'all held them to something like one of twelve. Yeah, I think we appreciate we held them to held them to one to one to eleven, but uh, plan on third down was to get pressure. Uh, we know that Clemson likes, to, like I said, we know that Clemson likes to put the ball in tra the Travis' hands multiple ways. And we just tried to stop that. Um, and, you know, you know. At the end of the day, people run the same concept. These concepts always stay the same. They just try to put window dressing on it and, uh, you know, cover it up. But the concept's gonna be the same. And I think I feel like we, we sniffed it out and we took advantage of uh, that. Jacoby, uh, with you guys winning the national championship, 15 and 0, and the national championship start saying legendary status. What does that mean to the team and to you? Um, I think right now we we are very happy with winning the national championship. Uh, you know, the legend status, I mean, I mean, it comes with it, but our end goal was to be here and win like we did. Um, you know, the legend stuff is, I guess you could say, it, it come, like I said, it comes with it, but our goal wasn't to be college legends. Our goal was to be national championships 15 and 0, beating uh, seven, uh, seven top 10 teams uh, on our schedule.